Hello viewers and in this video I will go over a Cessna Cetacean Longitude Aircraft Checklist Reference Sheet version 1.3 generously, uh, generously provided by JLAS Gainus. I will go through um, I will start at the before start section and go all the way up to including engine start. The uh, intention is to guide the viewer as to where all these switches and buttons are right so I think just from before start to both engine start would be enough for you, uh, the viewer to figure out where all the buttons are for the other sections of the checklist so without further ado let's jump into the cockpit co and dark alright and we are in so, here we go, before start section, parking brake, that's control 5, set, check, battery, that's control 1, go down a little bit and zoom in on the electrical section. So left battery and right battery on. Generator switches, really important here. So left generator on, right generator on. APU knob, that's on control 5. Bottom right corner, start. Uh, APU RPM, I would like to do control 2, that's the autopilot panel, but I will bring the camera down and zoom in on the MFD. What we're looking for Pause is... system test, okay. Thank you, Mr. Satnav guy. But what we're looking for is over here, bottom left of the MFD screen. APU generator stable at 98 to 100%, so in just a few moments. Alright, next is APU bleed. That's control 5. And here, there it is. Already set to norm. Checked. APU generator on. That's back at control 1. That's the electrical panel. Over here where the mouse is. So turn on APU generator. Standby power test. So test standby and we are good that's all we need to do okay um, and then we need to arm it if we need that okay external power off all available yeah alright we have available so that's cool um, bus tie this middle section here Ever since the recent update, this is now operable. It used to be an in-op option. So before start checklist complete. Next section is FMS and autopilot. COM1 set to ATIS. So, um, okay. Usually I would just open the ATC window from this set, from this uh, selection, and you could just tune into ATIS. But if you want to do it the Manual way, that's control 6 to the uh, pilot side display, top left corner, audios and radios. Click on COM1, click on the numbers, and let's punch in ADIS 127 decimal 875. Transfer. Now we hear some chatter. All airport information with E1000 Zulu. Take note of temperatures. Visibility, one half mile in snow. Sky condition, ceiling, 900 feet overcast. Temperature, minus 7. Two we'll point, need ice. One tree. Definitely. Altimeter, 290 decimal, 902. 292 barometer, Yankee, checked. Yankee, runway 15, in use. 15 for this. Landing and departing runway 15, and runway 33 left. We should take 15. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller, on initial contact, you have whiskey. Okay. So now I will select ground services just to... Shut it up, otherwise All airport will information whiskey one zero 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 zero. One two six oh, nine. It is repeating eight. already. Visibility one half mile in snow. I'll just Sorry. transfer it out. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. FMS on all pilot com one checked. Barometer is from ADIS. It was two nine nine to two. Double check that it is. And it is. Now if it ain't um, or if it isn't up here above the PFD is the barometer knob that you could adjust so you adjust that don't forget to adjust your backup uh, barometer 
pressure over there too. So 299 to 2 it was. Flight plan, control 3. Click on this portion here, flight plan. Now, it's going to be empty for a couple of seconds. Don't panic. There you go. It takes a while to load. So just scroll up and down and check that your arrival. Okay, it's good. That's my arrival point. Uh, yep, approach is loaded and destination. Mm -hmm. There we go, Geneva. That's good. Checked. Um, for those who are more visual, oh no, let's not do that. Let's let's follow the checklist because we have procedures. So just go procedures, and we are using the Benoit One North arrival, and we intend to approach ILS Four. So it's all loaded in per my flight plan. Splendid. So procedure is good. NAV one and two frequency. So control six, audio NAV one. Go on the numbers, and um, if you already know your ILS frequency, you will punch it in here. So uh, I actually neglected to look this up. So let's pretend. Let's just punch in. You know, like maybe it is one one zero five five. Let's say right. Enter it in. Transfer in. And it goes. If you have a VOR at the destination airport or the next VOR that you are interested in flying to towards or DME, you could punch in that frequency over here too. But you got two nav channels up to you as you may. So they are in a nav source. It's this here. Uh, we're going to use GPS, so, so uh, change that to FMS. Okay, next PFD speed box. Very well. That's on the speed box, just click all on. If you want to have a late rotate, it's your preference, which is mine. You could punch that in. And I like these numbers. Oh. AOA. Okay. That's our uh, under PFD settings. AOA on. Perfect. Wind, I choose option two. When you select all these options in your PFD, this is the area right next to the compass rows that it changes so if you take a look at an area and I switch to option 3 you get this kind of information you go to option 1 you get what I call a resolution of vectors information and I like option 2 so that was win set okay number 10 uh, auto throttle speed knob that's on the autopilot panel so that's control 2 it's this switch over here you may have spotted me inadvertently switching it to manual uh, checklist says FMS. I prefer manual, so I'm going to deviate from the checklist a little bit and do manual. Then I'm going to tap on it, and that will give me a number close to VY, which in this aircraft is actually 185. I'll put 189. VY is the uh, velocity, f best velocity for, let me rephrase, recommended velocity for best rate of climb. So we got the speed in alt altimeter bug. Okay, that's on. Here, just uh, I like to tap on it to synchronize the current altitude and add a couple of thousands of feet so that uh, maybe traffic pattern. Um, later on, because this is an IFR flight, you already know what altitude that the controller wants you to go to, so you could put it in there later. Okay, so FMS and autopilot section complete. Next is before pushback. So COM1 ground services. Just gonna be lazy here and just use the ATC window. Tune to ground. And uh, we cannot move the aircraft, can we, until we get IFR clearance, right? So we will have to uh, request IFR clearance right here. So request IFR clearance. Ball ground, Cessna Hotel, Bravo. Golf Tango Foxtrot IFR to Geneva, ready to copy. Cessna Hotel, Bravo. Golf Tango Foxtrot is cleared to Geneva Airport as filed. Take off runway 15 climb and maintain 11,000. 15 noted. Departure frequency is 128 decimal tree, squawk 6655. Squawk 6655. 11,000 feet Bravo. noted. Golf Tango Foxtrot cleared to Geneva Airport as filed. Take off runway 15 climb and maintain 11,000 feet. Departure on 128 decimal tree squawk 6655. Cessna Golf Tango Foxtrot read back is correct. Contact ground on 121 decimal 6 when ready to taxi. Alright. 
ready to taxi but we're not ready to taxi we are ready for pushback so now that we got clearance we can push back ball ground Cessna Hotel Bravo Golf Tango Foxtrot requesting pushback Cessna Hotel Bravo Golf Tango Foxtrot pushback request accepted very well and parking brake down released push before pushback checklist complete now for engine start so while they're pushing us back we can start one engine might as well okay control 5 um, but you know what let's be proper and let let us wait for pushback to complete mm -hmm. so let's go oh bug what are you up to over there you can't find the nose wheel now watch as um, it suddenly snaps to nose wheel and we are moving back All right hmm. do, 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 as, as real as it gets <laughs> gonna help us out there push press, push back to the left a bit Wall ground Cessna Hotel Bravo. Oh, look, we're getting Golf a Tango escort, Foxtrot yeah. requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Cessna Hotel Bravo. Golf Tango Foxtrot, your request has been transmitted to the operator. This is good enough. Wall ground Cessna Hotel Bravo. Golf Tango Foxtrot requesting the end of pushback. Cessna Hotel Bravo. Golf Tango Foxtrot request to end pushback received. Thank you. Parking brake set. So, uh, engine start checklist. Pa um, using the APU. Very well. Parking brake set. There it is on the right bottom bottom right of the screen. And I collision light. So the lights panel is on control nine. Since I'm here, I could just turn up the lights a bit. So, anti collusion lights on. Now, I would also recommend at this stage, since we're out on the uh, ramp, that I'll turn on um, recognition lights. These are your uh, left red, right green, and rear white lights, you know, since we're out here already. If you want, you could also turn on wing inspection light that actually improves the visibility of your wings if this was dark and uh, okay so begin right engine checklist control 5 open the button guard go run now this is the engine start I'm gonna click and hold one second two second I'm listening for a little whine in the background to start four seconds I hear it so I'm release releasing gonna go to control 2 and scroll down to the MFD scroll down tilt my head down to the MFD what I'm looking for is over here N2 percentage to uh, hit 55 as well as oil pressure to uh, 50 they happen almost simultaneously so if you know what N2 means please leave uh, a note in the comments I suspect that's nitrogen and this would be indicative of airflow in the turbine since air is 78% nitrogen looks like fuel flow has turned on oil pounds per square inch is uh, 20 and climbing okay we got good oil uh, temperature in degrees centigrade fifty five on the N2, fifty on the PSI, oil PSI very good control five again to uh, bring our focus back here and very importantly close the button guard so we do the same for left engine. Open button guard, button to one. Press uh, engine starter, hold for four seconds. For that whine, if you can hear it. There it is. Release, control two, tilt down. You could also do control three and tilt up. So it's really up to you. Good end to flow, wait for fuel to ignite, to flow, which means ignition. Okay, so you can see oil starts to climb in temperature and oil pressure starts to build. I really 
wonder if N2 means nitrogen. I'm not sure. Maybe, or maybe something else, like there's an N1 and an N2 and an N3. Hmm. N2 percentage is approaching 55. Just wait. N2 55. Oil pressure should now rapidly hit 50. Very good. Control 5 to go back down here and close the button guard. Now that we have engines running with generators running, we don't need the APU right now. So APU generator, let's control one, zoom into the electricals. And APU generator switch to off. APU on control five. Turn the knob to the left for off. Bus tie. Control one. Pardon me. And off. Alright, engine start. Checklist complete. So um, we are ready to taxi, and but I'm not gonna go over the before ta taxi checklist because at this stage of the checklist, you already know where all the buttons are. You already know the shortcut keys to look at the p parts of the cockpit. So I have faith in you, viewers, that uh, you can now execute the rest of the checklist. Once again, this uh, Cessna Cetacean Longitude Aircraft Checklist Reference Sheet, version 1.3, generously provided by JLAS Gainers. I will put a link um, directly to where you can download this sheet and he also has a YouTube channel so with his permission I will put a link to his YouTube channel as well. So with that it's uh, thank you for watching, goodbye for now and I'll see you soon shortly. Cheers!